The current Eurovision voting system is broken. It ended up crowning a song that finished only fifth in the public vote. The correlation between the public vote and jury vote for the top 10 songs was only 18.8%. This shows a huge disparity between what the jury thinks is a good song and what the public actually likes. But fear not, as I have a bold new proposal that could make the competition even fairer and more thrilling. Instead of carrying over all the individual points received from each country, we re-rank the entries based on these total scores. We assign 12 points for the highest score, 10 points for the second highest, and so on. We do the same for the televote scores. This means each entry can earn a maximum of 24 points, 12 from the jury and 12 from the televote. The final ranking is determined by adding these standardized points together. This ensures that both jury and televote results have equal weight in the final outcome, rather than the jury favorite winning all the time. In cases of points draw, the country that got the highest public vote points wins. Here is the final ranking using this system. Croatia would have won the competition, which would have been a fairer result. To rank the countries that did not get any ranking points, we use the total points earned by the combined country and jury vote as per the current system. Of course, no voting system is perfect, but at least this is a more fair and exciting voting system. One other idea is to have the public vote account for 60% and the jury vote for only 40% of the overall ranking. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below.